Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and they need these items right here. I'm guessing they're asking on a separate layer so that they can run this on a plasma cutter with zero offset. So these, you know, these can be cut out with, uh, if you don't know anything about plasma cutter, you, uh, you start on the inside and cut out. So these would all cut out. But on this, he wants zero because some of them are so thin and there's no room for that. So you, the plasma cutter is going to start right on the line. And before I start this, I'm going to make a duplicate of these. And the, just the four just looks off to me. So I'm going to hit C on the keyboard and just hit and see how the four kind of jumped over to me. It, this just looks a little offset. And the other thing, I'm especially with plasma cutter, I'm a pet peeve for things and your lines are not connected. So that's going to cause you some troubles. And if we look at it, the whole thing under the shape tool, let me, first of all, there's a little bitty cut right there that you're not going to be happy with because the plasma cutter will find that. And this right here, you know, there's separate lines. You drew, you drew it good. You just need to correct that. So what I'm going to do, and I'm not even getting to your problem, but I'm going to figure out how big this is. It's 18 inches. So I'm going to change, whoop, I'm going to change my nudge distance to 20 inches. I'm going to change your duplicate distance to zero, zero. Uh, I get a little annoyed with that. And then I'm going to select everything inside that box and I'm going to nudge it over. And I messed the bar. So everything's still the same, but then I'm going to take the smart fill tool and I'm going to fill this in. And then I'm going to nudge it over and I'm going to left click and I'm going to make it red. Doesn't really matter. But now you can see that the, all your lines are together. There's no separate line. Now you do have a few extra nodes in your, that you do not need. And now you can delete them. So you'll have a good clean cut. I'm going to try to delete that one as long as it doesn't change the sign. That's probably needed to, to make the, not really. You can kind of play with that yourself and look at it. It doesn't look like it takes anything away of the shape. You know, there's two nodes here. And for the those of you that don't do plasma cutting, plasma cutting is a little bit different than laser engraving that it goes from node to node to node. And see here, we, well, let's just look. We have curve on one layer. We have 11 objects. So you, you fix 11 things. So, but that's not what he asked. So let's just back up here and put it, put everything back. What he wanted to know is how to put the Riversdale and the mountains and the grass scene on a separate layer. Well, what we do, we go to windows, dockers, objects, your version may say, may, may say object manager. So we go right here and make a new layer. So now we have layer two. Grab your items that you want. And this will also help you because that way, if you would have grabbed, well, my box would have been better. Because when if you grabbed all this, that line is going to be in that layer. You don't want that. So let's just back up to here to where we had my uh, red box. Well, I guess I need to go forward instead of backwards. Apologize for this a little bit. You can kind of, if you look to the right, which I can't really right now. Tell you what, let's just, let's just fix this real quick again. Try to grab everything and nudge it out of the way. And then let's fix this. Because that way, I can't, uh, well, there we go. And I'm not going to take the time again to re reduce those nodes. But I'm going to just nudge this back over and then nudge this back. So we've still got a new layer. Layer two. Doesn't have anything in it. 
we can grab all this and now that's all the blue items are in that one layer and they're kind of grouped together but we can take the you know maybe get as far as you can go and grab that blue layer and put it right there in layer two now if we look we'll close down we'll close down layer one and we'll grab all this and you can see it's not in layer one it is in layer two and layer one is all the other stuff see there's nothing highlighted so we'll highlight all this is in layer one now i do not know in plasma cutting how he's going to separate the layers on his machine but evidently he can so that's how you move things around and you know just to kind of prove it we can go to uh well let's go to layer two and let's go here and see you can see and that might even have that might be telling you you got some broken parts there and then hold down the shift key and go there and you've got everything selected we hit the delete key everything will select so now you know it's in layer two so I would be real curious, whoever do this did a pretty good job, but you've got a bunch of nodes in here, especially in plasma cutting, that are gonna cause you some troubles. You know, this would be very easy just to delete, but see it's not filled in. So I would do the same thing with the smart fill tool with all these to make sure, and you could just take the smart fill tool, and I know this wasn't what he's asking, but. I'm hoping this will help. And I'm just going to do a couple of them. Whoop. I get outside the box. I'm not going to do the whole, whole thing. Smart fuel tool knows where yours at. Ha! I'm not very good this morning. Let's just do a couple. And then if you look at this, if we take it and let's get rid of the box. If we no fill and right click, now it's all one unit. You know, these that grass is all one thing. Let's look at that on, on, with the shape tool. You've still got a lot, of, a lot of nodes, but now we can clean this up where before we couldn't. I would just try to take all that out. And you want good smooth corners it actually like double nodes on a point to no, no, cause that's going to burn away. And that's also really, really narrow, but you could take and actually take that and move it out of the way a little bit. Cause if you don't, that's going to burn away. Everything else looks good. You could try, you know, I don't know how much the logo is, but you could try to reduce the nodes just by clicking that and let's, let's look back. We got 157 nodes versus 164. It didn't reduce them too many, but it, it do, that part does a real good job. Let's look at this. You know, there's, look at these nodes that are so close together. That could be rounded off. And see, there's one I made. I made a, when I smart filled it, I moved it over twice. Let's zoom in here a little bit. So without losing any detail, you could do a couple of node changes and, you know, then you could still move your, you know, if, the, if that's what the logo looks like, but this would be more preferable for the plasma cutter because it's going to come around that corner. You know, these, well, I bet you these two nodes right here don't need, or these four. And they kind of change it, but you can always, if you, if you, do this and then right click and turn this into a cusp. It evidently already is. Then it's just moving one handle. And if you're ever not sure about something like that and changing nodes, do this. Let's take the smart fill tool. Here's the original. And let's nudge it over and make it black. I'm running ran off my mouse pad. Now, let's just, 
I don't want to ever move anything, so let's just make the nudge factor one inch. And let's move this down or over. And now let's fix the red one with the shape tool. Let's go, whoop. let's go right here and delete these nodes. You know, and then we could actually probably put that back. And that is a sharper turn. But we can delete that node and that node. Well, maybe we can't delete that node. This is where you'd want to just kind of play with it. Because you can always move your handle. The less nodes on something this little would be pretty important. Okay, I think we've done about all we can. We have five nodes. This one has 11. And if we nudge it up, We've changed a little bit, but you can always change the red one. You know, grab it again and put it up to the black one. You know, take that and move it down or move it like that. That's really non-noticeable. And you've got five nodes versus 11 nodes. You've cut out half the nodes and you've got the same shape. It's well worth the time. Anyway, I hope that answers his question. Thank you for watching.